Mike, why do you believe step two is way more difficult than step one? It's not a belief, it's the truth. So step two vignettes are way more involved and longer than step one vignettes. Like for example, a step one vignette for cardio might just tell you literally a one-liner. They might just say, hollow systolic murmur, left sternal border that increases with inspiration. Do you guys know what murmur that is? If you don't know what murmur that is, you're not gonna pass. So hollow systolic murmur, the left sternal border, I'm not specifying high or low, just at the left sternal border, hollow systolic murmur increases with inspiration. That's tricuspid regurg, okay? So right side of murmurs increase with inspiration. So that's like a step one question. There's literally a one-liner on the cardio. And I, can, I, I dropped it in the Telegram group like 10 days ago. Someone wanted to see it. A step two question might give you like a 12-line paragraph on COPD. And they might tell you that there's a holostolic murmur that increases with inspiration. They like throw that into the vignette. And then the answer to that question would just be like core pulmonal. And I'd say this soon. I'll be like, do you know what murmur that is? They'd be like, no. And I'll be like, that's tricuspid regurg. I'll be like, do you know why that's there? And they'd be like, no. And I'll be like, well, the highest yield cause of tricuspid regurg in US is core pulmonal slash pulmonary hypertension. Backs up to the right heart and it stretches the tricuspid annulus, the right ventricular architectural changes. It's more involved. There's more detail. The step two questions are way harder.